guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So what we're going to be working on today is uh, finishing up that uh, building tutorial. I wanted to make a couple particles for the um, biome and just give it some extra effect. I haven't actually done any particle work before so this will be kind of like an experiment for me as well. Uh, now I do have some textures that we can work with. I need to find them First, I think it's in the new folder. No, it's not. Um, it'll just take me a second to find it. Probably under M Creator Projects. And we got the maple tree one. So I'm going to use the tick cut the uh, colors from the uh, maple sapling. And then we can work with that. So these are the colors that we have with that. So we can probably use that for the same thing for the biome as well. So I'm going to start with the lighter one and then I'm just going to kind of draw something similar to a maple leaf. I'm going to start from this side and just work my way down here. And then there's kind of like little spikes and stuff that they have. So uh, something like that. And then we can do something up that way. And I think there's a fifth one as well. So probably something like that. So we'll go four out that way and fill that in all right so that'll be our baseline for our maple leaf and then what we can do is we can use um a darker color actually to fill in or should we just yeah we'll leave it like it is and then what we can do is we can kind of branch this out just a little bit and we can kind of build up our leaf that way so maple leaves are um very unique. They're kind of like uh, stars or other things, right? So trying to keep to the shape of what it would look like. Like I have a lot of uh, maple trees where I live and stuff. So, but um, trying to keep it as close as I can to what I remember. So it's kind of like the Canadian leaf. Actually, I think the uh, Canadian icon, the leaf on the Canadian flag is a maple. So we'll try to keep it similar to that. Go like that, kind of branch it around, maybe do a little point. Just maybe a little bit like that. All right, so it's pretty, it's looking pretty terrible. Um, for someone that lives in Canada, I have actually never done a pixeled version of Maple Leaf. Okay, maybe bringing that a little bit more down like that. Uh, let's see here. What have I done with these two? Okay, that's actually down a little bit more. And okay, that comes up there. That comes down there. So I like that, that set up there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring this down a little bit like that. We'll kind of clean this up just a little bit. Okay, that looks worse. <laughs> okay, we'll do something like that, I guess. And then we'll clean this up. Uh, I think that's already set up that way. And we'll need to clean this up just a little bit. So two down. And then it goes down two more. So we're going to need... Um, one, two, okay, that's that's interesting because that should be one, two, one, two. Ah, that's what's going on, okay. This is a little bit higher on that side. So we'll clean that up and then we'll go down like that. And then we'll fill this in with you. And it kind of resembles a uh, Thing. Uh, once we get the colors and stuff in, that will be a lot better. So we'll do that. And here we have a little white part right here. So something like that. So that should be the exact same shape on the other side. And that's pretty good. Uh, resembles pretty much a Canadian leaf. Uh, now what we need is to do the different colors and stuff. So what I'm going to grab is the second darkest one. 
and I'm going to work on the shading just a little bit. So um, the lighter side should always be on the top um, top left side, so the side right here. So because of the particle, what we want to kind of do is follow the edge along here for our, our lighter color. But we also want to bring in some textures and stuff into the other center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bring out some of the uh, different shades around here. It doesn't have to be perfectly even. Uh, we also want to pay attention to the depth of where things might actually kind of be when we're actually texturing things as well. Like, for example, um, the lighting might on this part right here, this uh, point of the leaf might be a little bit more bright um, when it's hitting this area where this part might be a little bit darker. Uh, this might be curled over, but if we were to put this over here, then this might be curled up. So you have to kind of pay attention where you're actually doing the shading and stuff. Um, this would be more curled under, like under. So we might want to curl this a little bit like that to give it that impression. So what we can do is we can update this just a little bit. And what we'll do is we'll kind of curl it around roughly like that. That should be kind of good, I guess. Uh, we might want to um, bring it up a little bit. Yeah, that made it worse. <laughs> it takes time to make a good texture, right? So uh, we'll just kind of bring this out like that and maybe fill this in and bring that something like that. No, actually, I like it like this a uh, little bit like that. So that should be good. Uh, yeah, so we'll leave it like that. That'll be fine. And now that we got the second texture in, what we need to do is get the, uh, the second lightest or yeah, the second lightest one. And then we're just going to kind of fill this in, do some texturing around the edges and stuff like that, just to kind of give it some depth. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to kind of follow the lighter and the uh, darker ones as well. But um, more on the lighter side of things. So around here on the edges, things like that. Um, we also might want to blend in some of the medium texture as well. So it gives it some depth. So we're going to actually decorate the stem a little bit just by just along here to give it the darker edge. So around on this side, uh, we're going to leave the, the lighter one up there. And then what we're going to do is just going to do some extra detailing around the parts that we've missed. Um, for the darker parts so around here are some uh, lighter ones around the edges here will give it some extra depth as well and there's your basic maple leaf uh, for the most part so we can also um, use uh, some extra lighter colors to fill in the parts for the stem so we can actually select that and then we can offset the um, the value and the saturation. So if we were to increase the value, we'll go probably around 90 and then we'll decrease the saturation, maybe about 10 or pardon me, 10 and 10. Maybe that's a little bit too dark. So we'll go a little bit more up on saturation. Try that. Okay, that's better. So we can kind of get some extra color in here. We don't want to keep it like all the same though. We just want to kind of give it some different depth as well so it's not just all the same color so something like that should be fine and there you go you got basic maple leaf for your coloring and stuff so what I'm going to do is now that we got the maple leaf I'm going to actually see if we can animate it so I'm going to go ahead and actually should we make this Not sure how we can animate it honestly. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to save this as the texture as it is and then we'll see if that will work out fine. So we'll save this and then we'll save that to uh, wherever our folder is for all of our projects. I think that's on our desktop and then we have the 
desktop and then M creator projects maple tree and then we'll save this as our um, maple leaf um, particle and we'll save that so this should be the texture that we can use all right so now that we got that all set up we'll go in here and I'm not sure what kind of um, thing that we're going to need to save it under it might be a block or other so I'm just going to not import it at the moment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to our biome and if we go over I think it's somewhere in here that we have our particles so is it I think it might be under effects and then if we enable that that would be Okay, maybe no, maybe it's not here. Where where did I see that um, feature? Okay. Features, and then there was this. Might have been the effects. Um, biome ambient particles. So. Yeah, it might be in here. Um, this is the particles, and we're going to need uh, to create a particle first. So we'll go ahead and create a particle, and that's right here. We'll just call it uh, maple leaf and set new, and then we'll set import our texture so we can go to our desktop and grab our texture for, that we just made. So again, that's M Crater projects and then maple tree, and then there should be a maple leaf particle that we just created. And we can grab that. And then what we can do is we can set some of the properties. Now we should make the leaves kind of fall. Uh, so we're gonna wanna set gravity for that particular um, particle. So what I'm gonna do is under the gravity section right here, what I want to do is increase the gravity. Now, if I wanted to fly up, then I would basically decrease the gravity to negatives. But because we want it to fall a little bit, what I'm gonna do is add it to about two gravity or 0 0.2. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, set the velocity um, particle. No, not that one. What one was? I think the gravity controls the up and down and then we might want to make it kind of spin and stuff so we could do um, okay this is the speed factor we'll leave it at one angular um, this has to do with the spinning velocity of the particle Negative value means um, counterclockwise rotation. So we could do either one of these. So we'll do uh, probably something like 0 0.3 maybe. And this I think has to do with the, the other axis. Acceleration. So how fast it, how fast it spins. So we'll do like 0 0.1 I guess. And um, does part particle collide? Uh, let it collide with things. I think that'll be fine. Um, if it, It'll give like a little bit more of a effect when it lands on trees and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool. And um, always show this particle. Uh, we probably want to have it disabled. So it's not so intensive for lower grade computers if it's always constantly spawning. Um, however, we will just enable that. And then we'll go back to our biome and we'll check this and we should see our particle show up here. Uh, particle spawn probability, we'll set this to uh, probably, we'll, we'll try 1.5 and see how that works. And then we'll set that and then we'll do that for our other biomes as well. So enable that, select our particle and then we'll do 1.5. 
And then we will try our smaller one as well. Enable this, select our particle. And I could probably just type in one and then it's already set up. So there we go. All right, so let's go into a game and then we'll finally see how everything turned out. Um, now I did update to the latest snapshot. Well, it's the pre-release now. So um, from what I understand, the um, the actual um, trigger events from the last episode with this series was fixed. So we shouldn't have that issue with the spawn conditions for the structures anymore. Um, I think they fixed that in this particular snapshot, so it should be working. But uh, I'm not going to bother with trying to get the um, thing to work again. So uh, we won't be trying to fix the spawning conditions in this particular version. But um, we might do another biome uh, thing. If you have any suggestions for different types of biomes for me to try, let me know in the comments down below and I'll see what I can come up with for sure. All right, so we have that one here. I'm just going to actually recreate that so we can um, get the same biome locations and stuff as the last one because we're already familiar with it. So I'm just gonna create a new world. All right, so I just quickly adjusted the settings for the uh, thing and because I updated the settings that I usually have for rendering was all messed up and the sounds were playing and stuff, that's why I cut out. But uh, if we go into our biome, then we should start to see kind of leaves. Now, they're not all kind of lasting that long. We might want them to last a little bit longer than that, I think. Sounds like there's skeleton around here, too. So we might want to... Okay, so they're kind of spinning that way. It's not really what I wanted them to do. Um, however, it is kind of cool that they are spinning that way. Um... What we're going to do is we're going to increase the time that they can actually fall at. I like how they turned out. It gives it a really nice effect with the texture and stuff. So we'll definitely continue to use that. Um, as far as them actually hitting the ground, I don't think they... They, um, they have a long enough to actually stick to anything. So let's uh, go fix those settings with the particle. Uh, we just need to go into our particle. We need to adjust the particle minimum age. So we're going to set this to, I don't know, um, let's say 300 ticks. That's 15 seconds. And then we'll go something like 600 ticks. And that should be uh, 30 seconds for them to last. And for the... Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to change it from the... Uh, the angle of the particle to rotate. I don't think there is. Could be wrong. I haven't really um, played around with the uh, particle rotation too much. I just know that there was that added. So we'll just leave it with rotating the way it does. I mean, it still looks pretty cool. Uh, if you wanted to rotate it to kind of rotate sideways, you could do that with a number of um, things in paint.net. I do have a couple plugins um, that could animate it. If we open up our thing, we might be able to use a plugin that I'm not sure if it's part of the bolt bait plugin. Um, it's under effects, I think distort. No. Object. Photo. There's one in here somewhere for rotation. Maybe it's under image. Yeah, it's under image. And then if we go to, is it under image? No. View layers. Okay, it's under layers. And then there is um, rotate and zoom, this feature right here. I'm not sure if it's built into paint.net or not, but what you could do is for each frame, uh, you would want to preserve background, I think. No, not that. Not sure if there is a way. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can actually preserve the um, pixels or not, which is a little unfortunate. Um, OK, 
Okay, so this controls the angle. So if you wanted it to flip, then this is basically what you would do. And uh, you can also change the position where it will kind of flip from. And this will control the location where it's basically going to um, kind of shift. So if you, you want to basically keep it as center as possible so the animation is smoother, this will control the uh, zoom however you want to keep it as close as possible and um, as you can see the part the pixels actually get really worse as uh, more blurred as you're doing that so it's probably easier to um, texture it all yourself but that would be an alternative way that you could uh, kind of change the angle and stuff um, it's a little bit harder but you can also uh, control it by kind of kind of rotating like this I think you can also set the um, the edge and the mode when you do this so it's a little bit more um, more uh, pixelated so you, when you have this little cursor down here you can actually rotate it so it kind of turns it's not the greatest when you're working with a small pixel thing uh, ratio but you can also kind of make it look like it's kind of um, kind of turning around a little bit so you can kind of do that for each frame and then when it gets to something like that then you could basically um, or something around here then you could basically flip it and then have it on the other side and then work from your basic thing flip this so it's like that and then you could start with the same amount of pixels and then just do each frame backwards so it looks like it's rotating in a circle around the leaf. Now that would be okay if we were to do that, but I don't think we have enough time to actually work on that. Uh, instead, I'm just going to leave it as it is, but that would be a different way that you could basically uh, create the different frames and stuff. And if you were to do that, then you would want to enable animated particles. Um, you want to import your texture as other but um, rather than importing it what you want to do is create a animated texture and then you would basically fill it, bring in your animated strip now if you're creating an animated strip your strip has to be the same ratio so if we're working with a 16 by 16 then we would need to increase the height by the amount of frames that we'd want to add so more frames equals smoother um, smoother generally a smoother um, animation being played but um, depending on your speed uh, it will also kind of vary depending if you want it to go faster you want less frames but you want it more very similar where your pixels and stuff are to kind of give the smoothness where other um, more longer frames you have more control over what pixels get cha changed and such so Again, if you wanted to increase the height, then you would just basically set this to something like 64. That'll be four frames because 16 times four is 64. So you would also want to set the um, thing for the top frame to be right at the top and center. And then you can basically just um, add your frames like in these parts right here. And you just make sure that you stack it in the proper location. And then you could do changes or whatever for these particular parts. Now you might need to create a new file when you're importing it. And the reason for that is if you're working with rotation and stuff like that, then it might um, need to be in a new file so you don't mess up the rest of your frame. But when you have that, save it as your particle texture and then import it into here using the animated frame strip and then you can basically import it and um, set the speed and everything up here and then you just save it as your particle texture and then you can basically use it here all right so that should be good we'll save that and we'll just close out of the animated animation texture and then we'll start up the game again all right, so as you can see, it's um, actually sticking now to the ground and stuff. It doesn't, it lasts uh, quite a bit of time, but once it hits the ground, it kind of continues to spin and stuff like that. It's kind of pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure how leggy it would get over time with the 15 seconds and stuff, but 
we'll just stick around here and we'll see what it basically can come up with. You might want to lower lower the um, timing for sure, but this kind of gives it the impression that there's leaves and stuff on the ground for sure. And it's on the client side, so uh, depending on the um, the people that uh, can actually play the game, it might be a little bit laggy based on the um, computer that it's uh, basically displaying on. Not so much the server, I don't think. It might be a little bit laggy on the server, um, but I'm not sure. There's a zombie somewhere around here. Cave system, too. All right, I wonder if it actually spawns, does it? Yeah, it actually spawns in the caves as well. That's interesting. All right, you could probably set up a condition where if there isn't any, um, uh, air, if there, if it can't see the sun, oh, there's zombies down here. If it can't see the sun, then basically um, don't spawn it unless there's like leaves or something under certain conditions. But um, yeah, outside of that, I think I'm pretty impressed with how the biome turned out. Got our custom textures or meeple biome textures for the grass and everything like that. I kind of wish that we could have done the script that basically made makes the um, the uh, trees and stuff a little bit more nicer with the spawning, so we didn't have these floating structures and stuff like that. But um, maybe in the next um, one, I could get a script working for the biomes and stuff like that and then we can um, improve the either the maple biome or something like that in the future or even create a new entire maple biome or something or something that you guys suggest as well so hopefully we can create something in the future but outside of that if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys in the next uh, building tutorial thanks for watching peace out